Welcome to the month of June, 30 days old about gin. Shining a spotlight on those that will make you grin. Fun facts and proper tastings and cocktails Friday afternoons. Discover many different brands and be influenced by me. Some for old. Well, hello again, everyone. Of course, you are all very welcome to join me on this 27th day of June, my annual 30-day salute to gin during the sixth calendar month. Now, for my second product showcase of this week, my taste buds are off to Canada's Pacific Coast, Vancouver Island to be exact. Sheringham Distillery was founded in 2015 by husband and wife team Jason and Elena McIsaac. Now their idea was to take a culinary chef style approach to making a gin and to capture the essence of Vancouver Island in a bottle. You know, things like clean surf, wild roses, evergreen trees, and of course, that Pacific Ocean air. All of that helps to explain its name. This is Seaside Gin. Now I said that the distillery was founded in 2015, and of course that is true, although small caveat here. As this first distillery in 2015 was actually set up in their home garage in Shirley, BC. Home distilling. I love it. I love that. Now the distillery name itself is an homage to the former name of the town. Right before being called Shirley, their BC town was actually named Sheringham. Kind of fun. I like that. Bottle style. Right? A little bit different. I'm sure you can see that here. The rectangular bottle, well, you know, that's, again, different. And the inspiration is said to have come about when Jason, right, that founder, co-founder Jason, when he found some old squarish moonshine bottles from days gone by um, that were somehow uncovered near a local historic uh, still site in BC. So, you know, a little tip of the cap and, and nod to the past. I like that as well. Very cool. Production with Sheringham is all 100% small batch, right? Each label contains the year that it's made and the batch number. So you may not be able to see it on the video, but you will indeed see it when you uh, pick up a bottle. There's also a heavy focus on using local BC ingredients. Now the base for the spirit is both organic wheat and malted barley. A little bit different there, liking that. And the botanicals, well, you know, we're seeing juniper here, rose is used, lavender, citrus, coriander, cardamom, and get this, local sustainably hand-harvest winged kelp. That's a yellow-brown seaweed, essentially. So yeah, sure, why not? Seaweed, of course. You know, it looks like a little feather floating in the water. Why not throw it in, right? Pacific Coast in a bottle, there you go. Okay. So now it's time to find out what's in the glass, right? First, we're going to calibrate our nose, right? We always bring it up three times and then we take it up a fourth time for a big sniff. So there we go. One, two, three, and big sniff. Ah, you know, that's a nice bouquet. Right away, I get some seawater aroma, um, but not in a bad way at all. Just that, that fresh kind of sea. I get lime, I get grapefruit, some rose kicking around, a bit of a sweet rose. Juniper is absolutely there as well. And there's also this kind of, I'm going to say it's almost like a vegetal note, kind of like a sweet, fresh green bean, almost, but you know, very appealing, very pleasant. That's a very approachable nose. Okay. Time for us to taste. Right, and of course, we're gonna take a sip. We're gonna swish it around. We're gonna coat those five flavor receptors. Launch ya. Okay, folks, there's some body to this gin. And then, you know what, that makes sense, given that it's spirit-based, right? We talked about organic wheat and malted barley, so. Now, it's not heavy. Um, but there's a little bit of weight on the tongue. 
There's a hint of a bready kind of note, like a, just a little bit of a fresh bread, not yeasty, but fresh bread note. Evergreen pine and the citrus, they're all now popping. Here comes some floral tones. And at the back end, I'm just getting a little bit of a hint of that sea salt. Very tasty indeed. That's a tasty gin. Okay, so 43% alcohol by volume. In my opinion, very well balanced. Um, and it's got a floral citrusy finish. That's a fun gin, folks. You know, in the last several years, this gin has won numerous awards. Now, I've got to be honest, I don't really care about awards. And I don't care about the marketing on the bottles. That, that's what it is. It's marketing. Um, you know, for me, it really is all about what's in the bottle. Uh, that's what I focus on. But that being said, this gin's won many awards, and it really is easy for me to see why it has been acknowledged with terms such as best contemporary gin and double gold, um, yada, yada, yada. Um, it's very well deserving of those awards, in my opinion. Okay, so how can you get it? Well, good news if you are here in Ontario. The LCBO lists it for $49.20. That's about what I would expect to pay for a gin that has this much going on and with you know th this much balance in it. In Quebec, uh, the SAQ has it for $51. And over in Western Canada, uh, Western Canada and BC is selling it for a little bit cheaper, $44 a bottle. So I'm not gonna say bargain, but I'm gonna say good value. Uh, at 44 bucks, um, 49.20, yeah, that's still fair in Ontario. My friends in the U.S., you can actually order it online, and I'm seeing it for 45 dollars USD. So for U.S. standards, you're pushing that upper end, right? Anything over 40 in the states is is, is bordering on pricey, um, but well balanced, tons of fun, definitely worth a sip. Uh, and if you've got a couple of friends around, it's worth sharing. Alrighty, so my friends, here we are. We've come to the end of another product showcase. And we are quickly approaching the end of June itself as a whole. Only a few days left to go. It's bonkers. Tomorrow, I'll have another product showcase. So please be sure to keep on following Psalm for All on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. And also, very important, please continue to share my posts and help me spread the good word on gin. Until tomorrow, everyone, as always, please be well, stay safe, and cheers from Psalm for All. I am a song for